Okay, let's go random. According to Nelly, Golden Nelly stream, Golden League. Oh, GL is playing Terra Nova during an hour. Are you playing that? Uh, so in the for the Terra Nova tournament, we have two different teams. One team is Nelly, Jordan, and Taro, and they are playing today. My uh, my team would be me, Slam, and Doubt. But at least the initial stages, it will be mostly Doubt and Slam. Like I've decided that I'm just gonna I'm gonna focus on every four until Golden League is over. And after Golden League is over, then I will switch back to AV2 as the main game. I think that's the best way for me to do it right now. If I try to mix in tricks, so to say, the, um, the two games, I feel like it's it's hurting my game too much. And I don't want to put, like, I don't want to be worse in one game. Oh, I forgot. I'm Chinese. I don't want to be worse in one game because I'm trying to balance both games. And... Again, if I try to show up just for AO2 tournaments and play them without any training or anything, I just also make it even worse for myself. And like, I will not perform at the level everyone wants. So I, I think it's better for me to just focus on AV4 until Golden League is over, and then I will switch back to AV2 as the main game for me. Then like daily streams will be AV2 and. And like playing every four one might be like one like once a week or something like that like as an off something else kind of stream now and then. Mm. Yeah. yeah, this scout has had zero luck finding sheep. They don't see Vortex and Lucifer on ranked. I'm pretty sure they're playing on Smurfs. I saw Vortex was typing on. Uh... Okay, I don't know if they're actually playing actively on Smurf or if they're just doing custom games with each other. But I saw um... Vortex talked about how ranked is pretty much just quick match with a, a badge for reaching a certain elo, which is true. That's exactly what it is. I'm a bit disappointed with the implementation. I wish they would have. I wish they would have also done like. They could have easily also mixed in. Uh, I'm out of sheep, by the way. What's it called? The ladder should be visible in the game, essentially. It's so weird that you have to go to a different, like an external website to check the ranked. At least to me, I find that weird. Yeah, this has not been a great start. I made two scouts and I found so few sheep compared to what I'm supposed to do with two scouts. That's been quite, quite rough. In thoughts on Jordan's increased YouTube subscribers. How how far has he gotten now? How many has does he have? I mean, I, I told him years ago, you should just start a YouTube channel. It's a great way to have passive growth outside besides your stream, and it's also beneficial because people might find you on YouTube and then come watch your stream. There's so many benefits to having a YouTube channel. Um, it's good that he finally got his ass around to doing it. <laughs> 7k subs? Awesome. That is awesome. What? How much do we reach here? <coughs> we do reach Lumber Camp as well if I place it there. I think I will do that. My, my Chinese build is not clean at the moment, for sure. Oh, we're playing Cosmo, I didn't even realize. Um, yeah, I need to improve my Chinese build. Oh, 
Oh, I don't have the gold. Again, this build has been really bad so far. Stable opening. Do I want to wall? I think I will just respond with units actually, rather. I might add a range as well and play a horseman camel archer. No, that's going to stone. So it's a TC addition afterwards. Okie doke. Or is it a Tau Rush? Follow up. Hmm. Could be multiple things here. No, this, hmm, this is weird. Two bills on stone. You know what? I think I'm being tower rushed. Feels like horsemen and tower rush. Kind of follow up. Range. Yeah, it's gonna be camel archers and towers. Um, Glad our second TC. We'll do wheelbarrow as well. Oh boy. It's Archer actually. Oh, maybe we'll go even Ramston. Just the first round. Come on, 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 come on,
I'm possible I get housed after this, indeed. A little bit annoying, but we can live with it. Maybe I need to mix in more spears as well. Earlier. That's not a good move, Mr. Kazva. I believe. Not done a good job targeting stuff. That makes sense. Still be in an okay spot. I'd imagine. Wait, does the boar also attack a ram? No, oh, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Well, now we know. Let's get another official out. Uh, he went in between her. I had two towers with arrow slits and I had t main TC was there. So yeah, he was bound to get some extra damage from that. Third TC? Greedy? Nah. Nah. Go greedy. Mm -mm. Kinda wanna move out. I think I'm gonna make one scout. There's the last one. I don't have the song lines yet. True. At least one extra TC. He even made a tower. So that was going to be a counter aggressive. I suppose. Yeah. 
群病。What song would you like to play? Hope you're feeling a bit better today because you mentioned yesterday we were a bit off. Yes, very much better today. I feel normal. Normal good. We got three TC Song Dynasty going here. Uh, I think we're in a very good position. Can't imagine anything else than that. He has three TC as well. I'm not, not sure how fast he got his third TC. But with the Song Dynasty, I imagine we're going to pull ahead economically. You also drop off. Oh, you do drop off tax in the granaries. Nice. Very nice. Prepare the ramp. Got one archer inside. Oh. Like the text, I can delete it. Keep building it stable. Is the visa nerfed like mangonels? Nope. Obviously, Nest of Beast remains untouched, because that makes sense. Oh, there's a sheep still there. I think trying to make pressure now... I think it's a mistake on his end. He should... Funnily enough, or... I mean, I know you don't want to, in theory, make it late game against Chinese. But... I think him expecting to do anything with this type of pressure right now, I think is a mistake. I don't even want to place this, I want space. I'm just going to place it down here, with this farm around it there. Our equal should be insane. Quite fast here. Should have built a monster though and gotten relics faster. Exactly, Paul. Exactly. <laughs> I can reach the berry bush guys from there. What? Oh. 
Must have that. failed that. <laughs> now they're trapped. Not my granary. Six crossbows. Not too bad. Relish is next. Very ambitious push by him. Very ambitious. Very ambitious indeed. Got more units. Hat. More units, maybe. That's a lot of traps. I might just let the castle go, honestly. Um, okay, okay. He's really trying to force the issue. Okay, okay. Um, okay, I like what he's doing. Change of plans. Is it not prioritize one of those? Okay, um. Oh, I just took all of those. Hmm. One forty one bills, I may have overboomed even. I can sell some food. I will. 
do that. I can go in for that. I'm not sure if I can. If I should go in yet. Probably won't. What? Thought I built this. What happened there? Actually, this landmark position is risky. In hindsight. I think we have lost a lot of bounty here. What can kill that? Dude, I just... I have cannons right here. I cannot build a castle there. Where's my army? I don't have any. Okay, that makes more sense. Fifty four idols, not great. I only have two barracks. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. I lost all my production. I didn't actually think about that. Yeah, that makes sense. This castle push has actually made it quite awkward for me then. I think we will recover it now. But definitely more awkward than I wish it would have been. Save it. Oh, 
Let's take that. I lost all the bills here, so that deep will go away. Yeah, I think we have sort of stabilized a bit now. For better or worse. Need to get upgrades to 117. Okay, that's fine. The mass cast pressure was quite quick, though. Oh. No. Didn't realize he had cannon there. Do I want to supervise with this one? Got majority of the relics, oh, I forgot about those. It's got majority of the relics as well, there's still one up for grabs. Culverin. I have to admit, I did not expect to end up in this much trouble with his uh, push there. I think I need to upgrade pikes as well. I need to have a potentially cheap meat shield. The range. Oh, I have the range one. Oh, shit! All oh, the boiling oil. Leaves a mark. Oh. Hello. It's fine. Need that one. We're still Chinese though, so as long as we survive, we have good chances. That's how it is with Chinese. So his obviously not looking too great right now. It's all the sacred sites, he, has, he hasn't taken that relic. Yeah, we still have a couple of thousand gold to mine. Oh, 
I'm gonna slow down a bit. I guess I'm glad the Culverin does a good job of countering it. Else, I mean, it's already quite broken to be fair. I think I just need to clean this first. Wood control is probably going to be my long term biggest issue. First, I need to secure this wood line, and then we can start worrying about the next. Seven mils. Let's put a lot of this equal inside the middle here. Probably will have to switch my focus. Unless I can break him in the middle, I might have to switch to try and break him on the side. He has played a good game so far. Wait, he never took this. Okay, he doesn't have the sacred sites. Oh, never mind. Wait, what is... That's the cheaper nest of beasts. I might want that one long term. Uh, uh. Snip it. One more, one more. Range on the Colburns are insane. 
I didn't realize they had that crazy range. Okay, we just kind of wasted them. Okay, okay. okay we took that one as well. Still so much wood on that side. Okay, first step to retake regaining some control. I'm playing the way I, only way I can play, which is obviously taking it extremely slow. But yeah, I feel like that's the only way I can play this right now. I might get access to stone here, which is possibly even bigger uh, access to gold. Alright, possibly even bigger for me. But I do think I'm struggling quite a bit. Man, I've, how long has that guy been there? Forever. why he switched to his own bombers. I think he would have been better off making more um the other stuff. Hey we have gold again and complain but that might not be the biggest issue very soon. Oh, that's bad. Okay, he's losing some... And he has his monster in the middle of the map. That's very interesting. Yeah, now the switch is here to try and get wood. So we're, we're kind of taking the what wood is here. Sort of. Now we want to try and see if we can take that wood. I only have 96 villagers, but I think that is fine. Because... We also have to keep in mind that... Uh, we need a sizable army to actually even keep the controller. 
things right now. I don't expect this to continue like us to be able to kind of come back a little bit here. <laughs> Just wish the horseman, but I have spearmen as well. That's the issue. Wait, am I not doing damage to it when I do target ground? I'm able to snatch relics here as well, that would be crazy for me. Looks like we might be as well. Suddenly have resources, I have relics, suddenly we have everything. Chinese are not too shabby, are they? Got melted! Holy shit! I guess my arms should have been a part of the fight. Would have helped. Oh, uh, don't go there! Don't go there! I just got melted here. What does he have? Just mostly hand cannoneers. That's those um, culverins. That's when I lose my bombers as well. Oh, not you, not you. I'm playing only hand cannoneers. Interesting. Hand cannoneers do have more HP than mine. Palace guards have more HP than his. I think I'm just gonna go and break out here. So I can get back onto some wood. I don't think he's in a very good spot. But we got one extra relic. Hmm. I don't know how to prioritize my resources. There's a market there, but I'm not sure if it makes sense for me to train that direction. I think we're in a pickle. I don't think this game is very back and forth at the moment. He's very clearly in firm control of the game right now. I'm trying to break break out. 
somehow, but I don't have a way to get on gold. And I think composition-wise, it's really hard for me to compete without gold. Yeah, I think we're dead. I don't think I have the have the army anymore or resources anymore to actually get an army. That was a very strong push by him in the mid game. I did not expect it to get as much for him to get as much ground as he did. I definitely didn't give that push enough respect. We'll still try until I'm actually dead. But I think we are already there. I'm not sure if he's even chopped those woodlands. Oh, the noise! Oh, like this. I have a horrible surface area here. It's very bad. And this is probably the last fight. We're at 100 population though. <laughs> and the likelihood is that he is floating a ton of resources. The issue as well is I never got to Ming Dynasty. I never got to the HP boost. He's making mostly hand cannoneers as well. A few men at arms, but it's mostly hand cannoneers. I think I don't have... My gold income is pretty much the... Um, officials. Collecting at the moment. And they're not getting a lot either. I think he's smelling blood in the water. I think he could just spam units non-stop right now. And finish me that way. If he gives me time, I might get enough units out. He's actually just walling off. Maybe he's thinking to not force... Oh, he's going to raid with camel archers. Interesting. I think that is good for me. Giving me time. A little bit of time. Never got the incendiary arrows as well. What does that even do? 20%. That would have helped. Not that either.
Oh god. No. Don't die to that, please. Thank you. Hmm, especially into more of a analogic composition. I'm not sure my arms. Yeah, I think I'll die now. Okay, we just gotta survive for another like 35 minutes and there's hope. I think Camelot is a mistake for him. I'm actually gonna get maxed out again. All is stone. All is gold. I would imagine he's floating a ton of resources. I was expecting that he can just overwhelm me now with units. He's taking it slow. I also still have that sacred site without any emplacements on the towers. Am I getting resources? Maybe we'll snipe my landmarks. We are reaching that. I cannot believe it. Nuclear launch detected. I also have a monk. I can try and go for this. Got plenty of gold to mine as well. That's what I was fearing. Kind of. I need to hide my cannons. Uh, it's mostly. I can just go full spear stair. <gasps> Not a cannon. No. We have the extra HP now on our units. Which obviously I'm very happy with. Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. Okay. Yes yes yes. Mm, my stuff is terrible. True, he has the camels in there. Just adding a few hikes probably doesn't do the business. Ah, 
Oh, not another cannon. We're alive. I can't believe we're alive still. That like we shouldn't be. Mm, looks like a scary army. Prioritizing villagers? We have 96 villagers now. I might actually have to slow down my villager numbers. There's also a chance that this is gone and that I'm actually the one with wood income right now. Yeah, this is all gone. Some straggler trees there. This is also gone. He doesn't have wood anymore. Which is especially why he should not be making camel archers. They do so not deserve to win this game. Hope having fun grinding there before that. Yeah, it's been, it's been fun. <laughs> yeah, I only have one of those bad. Oh. Um, I think I want to get this. I might let him take that and I'll just remake it somewhere else. I think that makes more sense actually. I don't like that games can play out like this, but this game it favors me, so can't complain. Violence, I don't think I would want to invest. It's not like the investment I would have to make for that. I would have to make a lot of um, like I would have to make so many stables as well, and that's not something I want to investments into now. Where 
real curious how many resources he's floating right now. I want to get rid of all the red stuff in my base. Don't like it. Okay. Guess I'm pushing out. If she was villagers didn't show up as I on the idle tab. Uh, not in villagers, imperial officials. Making units that cost uh, wood, though. I don't mind losing bills now because they're, I can't do too much with these bills anymore, anyway. A little worried about a flank, but it's only camel archers. Maybe I have overextended. Hello. The camel just do cause wood. Wait, is that not open? Did he wall the whole thing? Horsemen as well cost wood. He must be floating. Unless there is no other logical reason for him to still be producing horsemen and cam launchers. These things that do cost wood. Getting smaller. I need to open this. I want to be able to reinforce from here. He's still making new buildings as well. I mean, is this guy gonna get bugged now? Because he's carrying 40. Yeah, he gets bugged. He keeps as well. He's trading. Ooh, you know what? Very likely, actually. The market is there, though. I think that should be my next target. I actually didn't think about trade at all. That makes a lot of sense. Didn't finish that. 
I think he's trading. I think we're dead. I need to get on top of that market ASAP to have a chance here. I think. Is it equal? Looks healthy AF. Mine is not. I also can't afford new product. I can afford production buildings, but do I want to? It's a different story. The terms of this game just flipped. Stone also suddenly has. Imagine that is due to just buying constant. That up. I can't really reinforce on this angle. I kind of want to. Okay, I guess it's fine. But we have to make a play for the for the trade anyway. I'm not sure if he has trade wing. It would surprise me actually if it does. Question Can he make his own market and trade with that? Is that an option? Can I trade to my own market or does it have to be a neutral market trade post? I also wouldn't mind if he want, tries to go for a trade, base trade. Don't see any trade cards here at least. Has to be neutral, okay. Hmm, I don't know. Don't see trade cards here.
If I had this army with my army down here now, I think we could have maybe broken him. Now it also depends on how much gold he gets from these waves. That's enough to replenish this army or not. I mean, I'm on 120 pop, right? That's not amazing. But his trade seems to have calmed down. We actually want to hold. Because he doesn't have trade right now. We're fine with that. Um... What I need to make sure is that he can't be enforced or send another trade route. Like that he can't keep sending the waves, rather. And this army comes. Maybe that's good for us. That's what did just what you had to do in StarCraft 2. There's no delete button. Workers. True. Well, now that he cannot trade either. I don't want to wall this. So he cannot trade that direction. And every building I destroy is expensive. Wait, oh, I thought I could steal his farms. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Still have two sacred sites. Four went out. I want to get rid of that keep and I want to open this reinforcement path. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> I can't allow it because then, uh, I mean, if it's just like, oh, you can't attack, then he can build up so many resources and gain back production. Can't allow that, sir. Oh. I didn't open that, did I? Oh boy. And I'm not sure if this... Oh, holy shit, he has a lot. To be fair, I do as well, but... Actually, with the HP buff I have... I think he has more HP than us. Bad for me here is this spread. I'm hitting his the chasing my arms, he's hitting all my hand nears. Oh no! Oh I lost so many reinforcing units. At least my cannons survived. to pray that that was like his last kind of wave sort of thing I need to clean this keep now we have a sizable army again just need to get that one keep Felt like an all-in. Felt like a way for him to recover the area, but whether I, you can call it an all-in, I'm not sure. I have meat shield again now. I still have 30 hankering there. So I'm 
Yeah, this keep being gone will be massive for me. Then I can finally reinforce close. Let's go! Okay, okay. Uh, oh, he cleaned my bills down there. I mean, do I make grenadiers? Sent in trade once again. I think this might be the moment to break in. You get one wave of trade though. But only one. <laughs> I believe. Zero stone uh, wouldn't come for a long time. But I did the Padoga upgrade. So I'm getting wood. 60 wood per minute. Let's go! He's trading again, but it was only enough to get like for one wave. So and also I stonewall this side, right? So you can only trade from this angle. And that seems like a weak army, I have to say. Okay, we have a spring gold deep there. This feels like the all in. relics there mixing in um, crossbows now I think it was not enough target the monastery Taking the sacred site. Maybe I can even snag a relic. Oh, I don't have an imperial official. You're right. Might be a lot of gold to collect there. I can also just pick up units from a distance here with my cannons. You know what? I could also use this as an opportunity to start some trade myself. I don't think that would ever get interrupted. Wait, what? How is he trading there? This is walled. Using. I've been sitting on 120 pop the whole game. This game is epic. Some will argue it's epic, some will argue it's stupid and dumb. I think both has, have merit to them. They're building up a sizable army. I 
and hammer shall get per trip. What is trading? No, no, no. No, no, no. Kazva. No, no, no. I could go for a landmark here. This whole army is kind of out of position, I think. He realizes now. We might have a party. I think this is over. Can't believe we won this. We should not have won this. Wait, what sacred site is being? <gasps> we took the sacred site. No. Not that it should matter, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I should not have won this game. I feel like there was a time window there in... When I was not having control over this area, just when I moved down here. I think that was his time window to just overwhelm me with whatever he had. But maybe that was also the phase where he was actually setting up his trade. And that gave me the time to come back. Were you given access to a new DLC in AV2? Yeah, I, I was, but I didn't take a, a chance of it. I didn't take the opportunity to use it. Again, my focus is on AWA 4 for the time being. But when Golden League is over, that will change. Let's see the economy difference here. Still, the fact that we can have fuel fights and rushes up to 90 minutes. Um, heavy siege games, it's all still a good thing for the game. Yeah, sure. Let's see the future of AWA 4 in esports after Golden League is over. Do you think the game is going to keep this pace of big tournaments? I don't think so. I think that. There will still be tournaments in AV4, but I do believe AV2 probably has a brighter future long term. Although that can easily change, right? Uh, depending on how things develop over the next year or two. So, economy. You had more f resources in total. Food, we are up, right? Yeah. You had 50k more food, wood 1k more, stone 10k more, gold 25k more. One guys, we have better KD though. Uh, we were in really bad spot. Let me see time at total resource counts. You know what? We were actually the one who was floating resources for the majority of the game. So on towards the end here. Where he was spending everything. I did misread the game a little bit in, in the later stages. Where I thought he could just overwhelm me. But he was actually spending the resources the whole time. Most of my resources was food though. Which is why it looks quite high. But it was mostly food. Can we check for trade wing? I will not be able to tell if he has trade wing or not. Um, I have no idea what the difference is on these thingies. I know this one or that one, this one or that one is economy wing. For information, there is some testing in one supervised granary with two layers of farms gives quite a bit more food. How much food are we talking here? It could actually make sense to supervise one of those. But then again, food is not really the issue for Chinese as the game goes on, most of the time. He also made a crucial biological mistake of drinking too much during the game. <laughs> True. <laughs> I have a cup of coffee here, and I did not drink anything of it. Well, like two sips. Now it's cold. So someone tell me what this means. Is this trade wing? This side here, is this trade wing? Yeah, that could be trade wing. But then again, he had boot camp, so one of these are military wings. I feel like it's economy wing, military wing, and technology wing. I don't think he had trade wing. No one, no. 
in the right side bazaar looking at it. Yeah, so you think trading would have been here, in this area, right? I don't know. It was a good game, though. It dragged on for a bit. I mean, I, I played extremely cynical. I played what I think was the only way I could win that game, because I fell quite behind. I think I was very ahead in early game. Actually, I want to see the timeline there on early game, village account. This is when he did the pressure, right? We had three three TC Song Dynasty. We did pull ahead, but then we fell behind in the early imp phase. I never got my military units going in early imp. Yeah, it was a nice push by him. Nice aggression.